when we use the present perfect tense. Present perfect. The main use of this verb is talking about a period of time, un periodo de tiempo, that continues from the past, desde el pasado, until now. For example, I can say, I have studied from the past until now, desde el pasado hasta ahora. Continues. I have studied a lot today. Okay. This is today, this is now, and I have uh, begun to study at 8 o'clock. Okay? Then you finish studying, and the process of studying has been happening from 8 to now. Okay? Something that begins in the past and finishes right now. Okay? There are a lot of expressions you can use with the present perfect. Namely, which expressions have you learned so far? So far, hasta ahora. Already y yet. ¿Ok? I have en afirmativa. Already eaten. Yo ya he comido, ¿vale? Ya he terminado de comer. El yet es en negativa. Se pone al final. I haven't eaten yet. No he comido todavía. Y en interrogativa se podría poner de las dos maneras. Tú puedes decir, have you already eaten? ¿Has comido ya? O podrías decir también, haven't you eaten yet? ¿No has comido todavía? Como diciendo que yo come. No es lo mismo. Es lo mismo, pero no es lo mismo. ¿Has comido ya? ¿No has comido todavía? And just. ¿Ok? What do you mean with just? When you say, I have just eaten. Es que acabas de comer, ¿vale? Esa solo se pone afirmativa. I have already eaten es que ya has comido. Y puede haber pasado media hora, ¿vale? Pero si tú dices, I have just eaten, es que te acabas de tragar el último bolo alimenticio. Just. Try to spell it correctly. This is the time to learn to spell. Not tomorrow. Not when you go to London. When you go to London, you have to spell Correctly. Because if you don't, they're not going to understand anything. And already yet, and the other two uh, words most used when the present perfect are for is since. Okay? Do you remember something about for and since? No. Nothing? Have you never seen for and since? You use for for a period of time. And you use since for a point in time. 
a certain point in time. Four. I have been. I have lived here for three years. Yo he vivido aquí durante tres años. Or you can say, I have lived here since 2011. Okay? It means the same. Three years from now is 1011, more or less. Okay? She has worked at Virgin for three months. Ella lleva trabajando en Virgin tres meses. O you can say she has worked in Virgin since September and now we're gonna contrast this with other verb.